streaming. All right, let me get the link here. Copy video URL. Video releases out here. Going live for some deity Pericles Gris. Sending out the ping. Shabam. Uh, let's make sure. Let's do. Let's do something crazy, right? We got. We got time. We got time. Uh, deity. Ancient Era start. Standard game speed. We will be playing on the. Oh. Let's do fractal. Fractal sounds like fun. We'll do a large fractal map. Wit. What? Where's my sound? Sound. There we go. Okay. It's just being a little bit weird. Hello, potato. Who is that? Ethan Mikesell. How's it going, buddy? How are you doing? How are we? Uh, let's see. DD Ancient Era Standard Stingy Fractal Large Standard. All these things are fine. Uh, let's do. Let's just completely randomize uh, the whole thing and just see what we get. Just be like, yeah, totally random fractal world, and we'll just we'll just see what we can do. Bam. Hello, potato from Lazuli Ritchie. Is it me you're looking for? Yes, it is. It is you that I am looking for. Hello, good evening, potato. That is William Pieters. Hope you're well, William. Will I am. Yeah, Greece is kind of a... Yeah, Greece is okay. They got an early Spearman. They got an extra wildcard sub policy slot. This is like their strongest bonus. I do believe they get stronger in the expansion, actually. Uh, I believe they're getting envoys. As soon as I was about to go to bed, you stream. I know, I'm a rude guy. I was going to stream 30 minutes ago, but uh, the call of uh, YouTube videos... Um, totally grabbed me, and oh, that was that. Not insane, just like everybody, how you can't hear hello and not think of that, right? <laughs> hello? Oh, mine got! Oh. This could either go really well or really poorly. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's, uh, let's restart this game. <laughs> oh, boy. I thought they'd fix that bug. Apparently, according to the game, that wasn't fixed yet. Greco Roman time, yes. Greco, Greco Roman. I can't roll my R's. I think it's because. Because there's, there's, there's two ways to make an R there's one with the R, and then there's the L. Which is done with the L kind of shape. DDAA cheats exposed. What? That was the founder of foundation of Western civilization you just threw away. I know. Maybe fixed in the next DLC. Maybe it'll never be fixed. Maybe it's intended. All right. This looks like a pretty shitty start. Let's have a look. Flatland. We have Mercury. Sheep is okay. Uh, two food, two production hill is okay. Kind of, eh. kind of an eh start. Tundra. Don't like that. No Plains Hills to move on to. Kind of an ass start. Now we want to either... I think we're going to scout to the north. Thinking of settling in place because I can't move to any better tiles, really. Bam. Oh. Plains Hill would be there. All right, so we got Athens. We have a few choices. Now... Working the sheep is an interesting idea. Alternatively, um, right, to work the sheep, let's grab a slinger. Hey, don't feel bad. A lot of people can't roll their R's just for physical reasons. Fun fact, Lenin couldn't, and recorders of him do sound slightly silly to Russian speakers. I believe Lenin also spoke English with an accent quite like mine um, because he was taught how to speak English by someone who is where from where I am from. He would have had similar sorts of cadences to his speech when speaking English. Okay, so what's our first tech here? Well, as Greece, uh, generally speaking, we want to get our hoplites out. Now, in terms of entire improvements, yeah, mining, we don't really have, like, I guess we could get our sheep online at some point. I mean, I kind of like the idea of going for bronze working. I'm going to grab mining, because it opens up options. Uh... And we'll, uh, we'll swing over. 
I'm going to move on to the stone, I believe, with the warrior. Boop, boop. And then I'll move on to this hill because that'll provide more vision. And a boop. All right, lovely. Uh, this is typical, by the way. This is typical of my games, right? Oh, look at this. You have this, like, nice river system. You've got a lake, and then you're surrounded by tundra and desert. It's exactly the kind of start that I always get. And it's not even a little desert. It's a ginormous, humongous desert. That looks like water over here. Is that the Dead Sea? No. No, I should be able to take this with a warrior. And we'll go to the next turn. Lovely scout coming to ruin my day. Oh, my city grew. It's breaking the sheep, I hope. Yes, okay. Minor defeat. Get you attack there, then we'll heal you up. We got the boost towards foreign trade. We'll go to the next turn. Okay, Slinger moving out. Uh, so, Fast Settler, always the right move in my opinion. Hmm. Scout wouldn't be bad. I'll grab a quick scout. It'll sync up nicely with this growth. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a cold nice travel village over there. And do we want to go for bronze marking? Hoplites are really good. We'll put a few turns into it. Grab that. That's military tradition. Okay, I would like to get the slinger boost. So now that you're healed up a little bit, I'll go back scouting. Oh no! What the. God damn, Scout's gonna make it back to the barb camp and spawn a bunch of shit, isn't it? Alright, you run over here. Another tribal village. And now I'll pick up a settler. Um, as nice as that science is, I think I prefer... It does shave like six turns off that tech. I could get a really fast encampment in my capital. Ooh, I kind of like that idea. That that appeals to me, actually. Go for a super fast encampment, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it out. Let's see, see how that goes for us. So we will work that. Okay, there's Code of Laws. Let's put the Golden Faith and here, all these policies. You move over there. Choose Civic. Um, as per usual, we want to get the Early Empire pretty damn quick. Hello, did I miss something? I had to finish a World of Warships game. No, you didn't miss much. We only just started. Oh, plus one population. Even better. Wait, why are you making a settler? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I want you to do. Never mind, never mind. Continue as you were. This is what I was hoping for. That's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping that would actually kill. He should kill himself on me. I think. Oh, would you look at that? That is just so perfect. In the most imperfect and annoying way humanly possible. That a barbarian would spawn the exact that exact turn. Also, I need to deal with this. Move to the left. Take battle cry. Uh, attack. Oh, you can't attack. Do some damage. Move over here. Okay, nice one. We'll go to the next turn. Settler finishing soon. I think I'll settle out over east here. Okay, clean that up. You move, take your volley promotion. Cross the river. I'm gonna go to the next turn. So, interesting territory going on over here. I might grab a builder after this. Huh, interesting. 
So I no longer need to worry about bronze working because I'm about to get it. Bronze, bronze is the Pop up onto the hill. Hey, tribal village. Nice. Alright. Let's have a look at the old technology. I like getting a nice... I, like, I want to get an encampment up early. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, may as well grab archery as well for some more early game units if we need them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Progress towards craftsmanship. I'm going to have you heal up. We'll go to the next turn. Got three turns on this. There's a few good locations. Would like to get. Would like to grab that silk and a coastal city because that's worth a little bit of science. There is Scythia. Hello, it's an honor to meet you. We would love to stop your hospitality. All right, I think I want to grab this coffee. I want to grab the coffee and the silk. I think I'm going to grab the coffee first because it's further out. forward settle Scythia a little bit. Maybe see if I can get uh, near this lake. Okay. Okay. Pop up here. Uh, looks like there's another player over here. Let's make our way up this way. I do need to deal with this. It's going to be an issue if I don't. Thankfully, there's no horses nearby, so that won't be too much of an issue. Okay. It's either here or here. That is a river forest. Here gets me the crab. The question is what's on this tile. In the meantime, you can make your way over there. So I could go for early empire. Uh, I have a few choices here. I can go for a monument. I could go for an encampment. Or I could go for something else. Just joined canal. There, I don't think there's a canal city here. Here? That's not worth it, my dude. I mean, well, I guess... Maybe it is a little bit if I worked all the fishing. It, the city would be really weak for a very long time, though. Um, I guess we could do it for fun. I gotta grab... Do I want to grab a hoplite? I think I want to grab a uh, monument. Get to early empire nice and quick so I can crank out settlers. Oh, no, I should get a builder. Yeah, I should get a builder. Okay, there's Japan at least. There's iron over there. If there are no dogs in heaven. Sheep, okay. It's going to poke in here. Okay, I didn't find anything else. This is an issue. Oh, that's right. I should be sending delegations. To keep people happy. I always forget to do that because it's going to start mattering more and more as I play. Um, especially with the new expansion that's coming out here on Thursday. I'm going to pop up onto this tile as well. Just to get that last little bit of scouting. I might settle here. Then drop like a harbor here. and Just have this generate lots of gold. Be a pretty good gold generation city. Won't do a whole lot else. Auckland is getting killed. Alright, so luxuries. What are my luxury options? Pearls. Coffee. Silk. Not a whole lot. Where do I want to settle this city? This is super defensive and hard to kill. It's further away from the coffee though. Captures all the crabs early. Hmm. Good campus is in here. Might be a science victory. We'll see. Somebody's already getting great scientist points. <laughs> hey, potato, my favorite sieve. I know. Isn't it fun? Right, where the hell are we going with this guy? Uh, this feels... The problem is this kills the, the forest here. This kills a hill. This also kills a hill. This is like a really good... 
Damn it, there's just not a... There's not really an optimal location for this. Is there? I'm just gonna go right beside the silk. Uh, right beside the coffee. Be damned. Will you be streaming Rise and Fall as soon as it comes out? Yes. However, I am going away this weekend. Um, so I won't be streaming it over the weekend, which was really dumb of me, in my honest opinion. I shouldn't have scheduled a an away trip. I should have said no. My instincts told me not to do it, but I hadn't been away in so long. So I was like, alright, I'm going to go away for the weekend. And then I just, after I'd booked it, I realized, oh wait, I actually need to like, I should be playing Rise and Fall. Like I should be doing like 12 hour streams of Rise and Fall that weekend. So it's a missed opportunity, but it's whatever. What can I do about it? Wait, why are you working this over this? this that made no sense. Let's get the sheep up. And early empires on the way. Let's grab monuments. No. I like the idea of a fast encampment actually here. That could be fun. I like it. I think it's a cool idea. We've never really done a fast encampment type of thing. Um, I do want to unlock harbors. Also want to unlock currency. So we may as well do those things. I'm not really going with a particular strategy. I'm just kind of screwing around, seeing what happens. Wasn't the first to meet Sol. See if I'll send you down here to deal with this. There's a boost for horseback riding. Okay, that can be locked in now. You move in. Grab that. You come over here. Getting some good scouting in. Okay, Auckland has been conquered, which is kind of worrying. And you come around this way. Uh, will you be only doing one game at a time? I don't know what you mean. That question is unanswerable because I don't understand the question. Is Argos? Now, in Argos, there's a lot of production. How much until I can purchase a trader? Do I hard build the trader or do I purchase the builder? I think I'll purchase the trader. Um Where what do we what do we improve next? Probably a hill. I want to kill this barb camp. Drop this here. No man ever Mine. All right, we got a granary as an unlockable thing. I don't know why I went encampment first. I'm kind of just, like I said, I'm just kind of screwing around, trying stuff out, see what happens. It's been a while since I've sat down and played Civ Six. Uh, my voters for Scotland are Mapuche. I will be putting up a poll on one of the days. Okay, there's the encampment. Let me purchase the trader. Oh, it's 190 now. Wow. It was 180 a couple of turns ago. Interesting. Not a fan of that. Ah, that's not the button I wanted to click. So we're going to grab barracks for the extra um, production. Sounds like fun to me. We'll start settling soon. So we have early empire. My word. We've already got horsemen out. Across that river. 
with Yerevan and Palenki. Definitely didn't find those first. Are you gonna? Uh, will you be uploading or streaming one game of Rise and Fall, or uploading multiple games? I'll be playing one game at a time, at least in the beginning. Okay, there's early empire. Let's come in here. Put in the 50% production towards settlers. I think I also got my Pantheon this turn. Yep, I should have got my Pantheon this turn. Let's sync it up nicely. Political philosophy. There's Kabul as well. Let's go to the next turn. Need to get some of these cities settled. Back up. Alright, so... Greece, what's going to work well here? City Page and Goddess is pretty good. Doesn't help us in our capital. Uh, do, 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 do. Culture from Pastures is pretty good here. Some culture over here. A bit of culture over here. Decent bit of culture in over here. We pop in here, get a bit of vision. Move over there. I like that city has Neapolis as their city name. Yep. Certainly an interesting one, all right. To come back to Athens to heal. Two more turns until the barracks is done. I never did this. I've never done this kind of like fast barracks thing. I don't know. I was just trying stuff out. Get in there. Move there. Next turn. Move over here. Choose production. Settlers. Six turns on a settler is pretty damn fast. They are pretty late settles, though, I will say that. Yeah, yeah, Batman, go away. There's a barb camp over there that I'm going to want to deal with with this warrior if I can. In fact, it might be good to bring the slinger down to help. I think we've got enough of a scout off. Uh, let's see if you can get any scouts over there. So it looks like Kabul has fallen as well. She's going crazy on the um, on the killing front. Did I forget to buy? I forgot to buy the Without trader. That's actually a big mistake. Because A, it's more expensive, and I've missed out on all the turns that it could have been giving me value. I can't wait for the expansion. I refuse to play one more vanilla game. Dude, that's how I feel right now, honestly. I don't want to play. I don't want to play vanilla, but it's like, you know... Uh, I don't have any episodes. See, I haven't even been recording episodes. That's why I'm streaming. So I'm streaming because I didn't record anything. So I'm like, I may as well give people something to watch. Um, right, trade with Athens. Boosh. Wealth consists. So I'm going to actually need irrigation into celestial navigation. After this worker, we'll start producing settlers here as well. What victory are you going for? I have no idea. I'm just I'm, I'm just screwing around. We're seeing what'll happen. Nice hill there. We'll lock that in. Did you make your way? Oh, that would be way too far for you. It's a little bit quicker, I guess. Now you should really escort the settler. Where's our next settle settlement location? Probably somewhere over here, right there. That feels like a good spot. Takes ages to get the silk. Here gets the silk sooner. I could just buy out to the silk when I need it. Yeah, Scythia has gone nuts, man. Just conquering everywhere. All right, let's have a look. Mm, this grabs the silk nice and early, but this is be uh, kind of a better city long term. So I'm thinking this is worse to defend. That's fine. We'll settle there. It'll be fine. Another settler. I want to settle for the pearls. Maybe right there, and then I can buy out at the pearls. You pop up onto the hill. Get out another mine. That should have been the boost for apprenticeship, right? Yep, 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 yep. 
Who's your favorite Civ so far in Civ 6? Uh, I don't like any of them. In fact, I hate this game. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, who would be my favorite Civ? That's a really... That's actually a very tough question. Okay, we're going to wait two turns on top of that. Luxury. Um, you know... Each and every civilization is special and deserves to be loved. Um, but if I had to pick... I don't know who I'd pick. I like Germany. Germany's fun just because you can do like the Hansa stuff, which I think is cool. The man who has grit enough, a strong economy. Okay. A strong... Production, gold, heal. Um, go ahead and improve that. I want to work that because that's gold and culture right now is actually really good for me. Uh, you can come back the other way. We'll go to the next turn. Another settler coming out. Go away, Yaya Varman. Leave me the goddamn hell alone. Yeah, I think Germany... Germany is really fun. Um, who else could I think of? The Aztecs. See, I've I've spent so, like I've been playing the game for like what a year and a half now. So I'm kind of like, I don't want to say I'm bored of all the saves, but I'm kind of like they don't. I'm kind of more excited for the new saves. Like I really want to play Mongolia, and just kill people, which is maybe a little bit messed up of me. But still, it's an accurate thing. I don't know. Let's get a campus. That sounds like fun. I shouldn't have bought that tile, but we're 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 just screwing around. Hello, Tater Tots and Big Potato. Hey, Jessica. How are you? Column Cooney. How's it going, Colum? Apologies. I will look elsewhere. I'm not going to look elsewhere. I don't know why I decided to build a campus. I just did. I just finished a domination deity with Germany. It was pretty cool. I ended up nuking Congo three times. They have a special unit at the end of Atomic Info Era with the more units mod. Neat. Nice one. Um, I'm not settling in around here. And if an AI does settle in around here, I'm just going to not care. If I settle here and over here, yeah, that seems reasonable. So I'm going to settle, like, on this hill right there. Cross over. Settler completed. More settlers! Keep that settle train going. Well, I'm going to hope you lead v Greece to victory. I hope I lead Greece to victory as well. Fortunately, I'm a little bit behind on the uh, whole great people generation front. But not by a huge amount. Come around this way. I've been seeing people doing these like uh, hyper fast uh, deity wins where they like use extreme manipulation of the game. Like, they'll start with, like, a bunch of uh, city-states and really optimal um, tribal village placements and tribal village rewards and stuff like that. And I don't know, man. That sort of stuff doesn't really super appeal to me. It's just, like, the thought occurred to me. I mean, I, I guess I can see the appeal of it because it's, like, how fast can you beat the game? But it's also, like, is it, are you really playing the game at that point? Or are you, like, you know, it's basically like you're stacking up dominoes to knock over for yourself. You know what I mean? I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, another settler finishing here. The settler will settle for horses. Actually, you know what I should do? I should sell. If I was playing optimally, I'd send them a delegation. And I would make a deal and I would send them... Okay, I would sell them that. And I would sell them this. Because I don't really need them. And I want the gold. Although preferably I should take uh, instant gold rather than gold per turn. Open borders for open borders. Deal. I'm well, gonna hope. Potatoes. Panda Web just subscribed. Thank you very much. I should set up a, a, a notification for when people unsubscribe. That would be fun. Oh, I might have dropped some frames there. Alright, so we've got two settlers. If 
I settled for the... If I settle for the iron and the mercury... To tree. Okay, I could settle for... Here. Oh god, why is that... Why is that pop up there? Where did that pop up come from? Is the Uplay launcher open? Uplay. You should never be open. The only time you're open is when I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege. Okay. I'm going to settle one here. One over here. Pick up some strategics. Most importantly, also the silver here. Oh, I could settle for the gypsum. But not safely. I could also settle for the cotton. But again, not safely. Alrighty. Hey, Erwin Rommel. How's it going, buddy? Okay, I want to build there for Gnosis. I want to get these cattle online. Pop up over this way. We go to the next turn. And we'll go this way. All right, here is this. What do I want to put in? Classical Republic. Capital receives boost, autocracy, oligarchy. Classical Republic. And extra production towards builders sounds like fun. Plus two influence points. And then perhaps we could take an extra two gold. All right, we're going to get drama and poetry. We're going to get our Acropolises up if we can. I'm going to pick it. I think this is where an Acropolis is going to go. And you should come back and become a archer. Are you bummed out that they picked Scotland instead of Ireland for the new Civ? By the way, Scotland looks amazing. Probably my favorite. Uh, it doesn't really honestly bother me that much. Um, not really. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Scotland is just as much fun to me as uh, as an Irish Civ would be. Okay, there's fishing boats. There's gems over here. And over here. This map is pretty terrible for most victory types. Ah, uh, god damn it. Alright, I'm tired of controlling you. Go ahead and auto-explore. So I'm probably going to settle these two cities as well. We'll settle here next turn. So these cities need to be kind of self-sufficient. Scythia is unfriendly. Okay. Japan. Okay, Japan will go ahead and be friends with me. I wanted to settle here just because I want to screw around, but this seems like such a waste of a settler, so I might not place that until later. I want to know more over here. This is a good spot right there, I think. Captures a lot of this empty terrain. I need to capture these pearls unless I'm getting them somewhere else. So I may have to settle right there. One, two, three. Yeah, right there. This is where I got to settle. Which does one, two, three, leave a bit of a gap in my territory, but that's okay. I'm pissed that they did Scotland instead of Ireland. Eh, I mean, you know, this is just the way it is. The Anglo... Scottish whatever thing oppression <laughs> um, one one two three I want to settle here just for the meme the may may all right we'll get one more settler and uh, probably after this we're gonna want walls and archers if I really, if I'm building archers, I should have things slotted in. What you should actually get is a builder. All right, this builder should pop down and go ahead and improve that cattle. We'll choose production here. Um, let's see.
I want to place a second campus, but I don't have a good location for it. That re doesn't require me to buy a tile, which is annoying. So what I might do is uh, just grab a couple of hoplites. Badoop. Eretria. Ireland is better than Scotland, in my opinion. Eh. Eh. Doesn't bother me. Not really a kind of concern of mine is which country is better than which or which country is more deserving of a spotlight. It's more like I'm I'm kind of just more interested in what what an interest like how how good the civs are themselves really is all I care about. So I have been scouted unfortunately. Um All right, yeah, you were supposed to become a archer, weren't you? Next turn. I was satisfied with Germany in the vanilla game instead of being mad they did not put Netherlands in the vanilla game. I'm really excited for uh, to play the Dutch, just because they seem like a lot of fun. Let's move over here. I need you to scout this area over here. Although, ideally, I would use you to kill this barb camp, but, you know, needs must impossibilities all that sort of fun stuff aha you have discovered an archer you have also discovered the art of running away let's get some signs from soul bam now the city's going to be producing just grabbing a hoplite to increase the defensive power of all my cities is really what i'm doing um, did you fortify for a turn? We'll go to the next turn. Alright. Let's go ahead and found this city here. I could get both pearls and thing, but it would make this city such garbage. Such garbage. Well, is it that garbage? I could fit another city in here if I did that. Pop one, pop the city there. Two, three, pop a city there. Ugh, that doesn't feel good to me. This is already terrible in terms of a city. I'm surprised they didn't add an African save like Zulu or Mali. I'm pretty sure the Zulus are in the game. Am I am I wrong? Isn't the Akanda confirmed? I'm pretty sure the Zulus are confirmed. No? Right? Chat. Hit me up with that info. Is Are the Zulus not confirmed? Right? Nah, I'm just going to settle here. Feck those diamonds. Yeah, Zulus. Yeah, like pr I'm pretty sure Zulus are coming out tomorrow, man. Like, uh, we're like we're all pretty sure. Based on the information that's been given so far, I mean, they teased the bull formation on the stripes and shield. It's for sure the Zulu, right? Exactly. The eagle attacking a duck is clearly symbolism for colonialism. God, get with the program, man. I really don't know what what it symbolizes. But yeah, now my cities are a little bit tougher to attack. Um, I would like to build harbors. I would really like to build theater squares. I'd also super like to get monuments on the go. Need to get districts down. All right, seventy-five turns in, and we've got basically all our cities settled. I'm just going to settle a city over here, for, city over here for the meme. Uh, should have thought Scotland was last. That did cross my mind, actually. Dude, I was joking. It clearly doesn't represent colonialism. Come on, come on. I mean, maybe it does. You never know. The builder.
Hello, Mezzo Abolmad. Abolmagd. Oh my god, your name is impossible to pronounce with a human tongue. He's a demon, he's a witch! Burn him. Burn he. Uh, let's go ahead and get the old fishing boat online. It still crosses my mind. Potato, if Ireland was a game, who would be the leader? That's a great question. Almost certainly they would pick Eamon de Valera. Almost certainly. Um, I just can't really think of a... Like he was the, you know, he's like the quintessential leader. You know what I mean? Uh, that people think of like during independence and all that sort of stuff. If Irish were the same, would they have to add the potato bonus resource? I mean, maybe that would be a little bit culturally insensitive. Maybe, you know. You, you, like, you, I, like, I'm not... Like, <laughs> I always feel like a dick when I say this. But you guys, like, understand that, like, millions of people died in a potato famine, right? Like, not too long ago. <laughs> you guys still make those jokes, but it's like... I don't know, I guess it's kind of like Holocaust jokes. It's just not... No bueno, man. You're joking about people dying. I mean, the potato meme is fine. I mean, my name is literally Potato Big Whiskey. So, am I playing any mods? I don't think I'm playing any mods. Nope, no mods. Hashtag too soon. It's not about the, the, the distance um, of time. It's about the lack of respect. The doctor disrespect. Okay. Maybe Michael Collins? Maybe. Michael... Is it, the problem is that, like, Michael... Did, like, technically, from the perspective of, like, history, he... Well, I mean... Have you tried the more units mod? Yes. But technically, like, he was the lead... He was a leader. But I don't think he was ever, like, the leader of Ireland. He was more like a... I don't know, like a political... Um, militarist, military political leader. I don't know how exactly to describe him, but I wouldn't like. He, I don't think he ever like ran the country in the same way that like Eamon de Valera did. But maybe that's not even necessarily what is required for him to be a leader. I guess maybe some of the leaders in the game currently never really quote unquote led their country in the way that people think. Um. All right. What the hell am I going to do here? What's my next move? Feudalism is usually a good move. Wait, where'd my settler go? Oh, right. I never finished it. I was placing my Acropolises. Finish that monument. Acropolis. I really don't want to kill this, but it is worthwhile to do so. Well, the Mapuche leader didn't really save really how are potatoes disrespectful? Don't people still eat them? I don't know, man. It's hard to explain. It's, um, I'd have to think about how to answer that question adequately because it's really self-evident to me why it's disrespectful, but that's because I'm Irish. And I'm trying to think of how do I adequately explain it to somebody who's not, um, I guess it's kind of like the difference between a friend saying, ha ha, you know, your mom versus and like it's it's just fun and playful versus um a stranger doing it and then it being like you don't know me like that you can't make that joke with me we don't we're not that kind of friend you know what i mean does that make sense is that is that a good explanation um i want to improve my mind so i'm gonna grab apprenticeship real quick i hope that kind of explained where I'm coming from. Don't kill the pre-production. It's hashtag too soon. Um, 
I'll get another production tile here soon. Although it's growing to the crabs. No, grow there. Um, would like a campus. Um, thinking perhaps another encampment. Maybe I'll do ancient walls here. The city's pretty exposed. I'll grab ancient walls. Oh no, walls come later. Walls come later. Um, Acropolis. Do I really have nowhere to go with the Acropolis? I have to buy a tile. It's not like super personal. It's just like... I guess... I don't know. It's kind of like... Um, It's like if you go into a pub and somebody offers you to, offers to make you an Irish car bomb when they find out you're Irish. It's like, I, like I, it's like I get it, you know. My culture is a is is kind of it, you know my culture is like a joke to you, quote unquote. But it's like, like real people suffered for those things that this thing that you're doing or like the the concept that you're lampooning like was a source of real suffering in the world. And I appreciate that sometimes humor can be levity. But it's like, you know, man. Um, like, you could be talking to someone who had lost someone to, you know, sectarian violence. No hour of life is waste. I don't know. Let's not get too political. All right, let's trade with Athens again. It's just disrespectful. Yeah, I guess that's kind of it too. It's a little bit disrespectful. That'll be one way to look at it. It's pretty. Dis it's pretty disrespectful. Um, but that like it, it. It honestly doesn't bother me too much. It's just more like. I don't know. Get those crabs online. Alright, let's go ahead and drop a harbor. My opinion, fuck feelings. Okay. That was a really great contribution. You know, like, half the world uses the word feelings instead of the word, word thoughts, right? And, like, they're interchangeable. Thoughts are feelings. Feelings are thoughts. They're, like, the same thing. Let's grab a builder to chop this. Can you do a tick heavy ac Can you do a tick heavy Irish accent? Yeah, if I was talking normally, it would be pretty tick. If you heard me in person, my accent is a lot thicker. Um. What's your favorite type of potato? I don't have a favorite type of potato. I don't eat potatoes. I know. Oh, my God. Every time I tell people that, who, you know, know I'm Irish online, they're like, oh my god, you don't eat potatoes. It's like, yep. Don't eat potatoes, man. Where's your stereotype now? Actions are graded in words? Okay. I don't understand the context of your statement, though. Like, what it would, like what does that add? Um, Athens. Right, Acropolis has been completed. I'm not going to go for the amphitheaters yet. Because I don't have anywhere to store. I don't have any great works to store, rather. So how many great people have gone? So one great writer is gone. Do it. Execute order Irish. Oh, right. I should trade away my things. Uh, make a deal. You want iron? What would you give me? Give me a lot. Give me that. What about you? I don't want the iron. I want like all the gold. Um, wild hill potato. 
I searched it up and the famine happened between 1845 and 1850. 90% of the crop died because of a sickness in 1847. Bellitifus was discovered and millions of Irish died. I'm an Irish stereotype. I eat four potatoes four times a week. I used to eat potatoes every day. I used to 100% be that stereotype, man. But, uh, you know, just I'm not anymore. Let's grab a granary so that we can grow this city up. Um, send troops to, or send envoys to Seoul. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it was like, whatever. You know. Just an automatic thing. Would have been, it's like suboptimal to do that, but I don't care. Go away, Brazil. Go away. Leave me alone. Okay, games and recreation. We might go for a um, Colosseum in the capital if we get the population for it. What do we need? Population is seven. It's not going to happen in the capital. Um, could happen over here. Could happen over here. Where's the most optimal location? It's probably somewhere in the capital, unfortunately. Uh, it's probably going to be done in Eritrea. If I put the entertainment complex here. Colosseum here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll hit my capital. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll hit my entire empire. If I get an entertainment complex here. So let's see if we can make the city grow a little bit quicker. Seven turns. Okay. Pedro the second triggers me. Uh, we had a water flood in 1953. It was not as big as maybe what it was shocking. Yeah. I mean, it, like, honestly doesn't bother me. It's just, like, it's worth mentioning that, like, you know, these events that you're making fun of uh, were not really fun things at the time. I don't know. Sometimes it's just worth noting. It, it's, like, it super doesn't bother me at all. All right, Corinth, let's talk about you. You have your amphitheater. You're going to need a granary. I also want a monument. Grab the monument. Um, we'll go up this this guy because I do have a single campus. And uh, just want these swordsmen to go away. Well, I love Pedro. He's got a great beard. Unfortunately, I don't judge leaders based on their beard quality, so I don't beard shame people. All right, let's have a look. Plus one movement for all mining. All right, plus one mining. Chop chop chops. I'm gonna want a lumber mill to upgrade my archers. I'm also going to want lumber mills in general, but just because I have wooded tiles next to rivers. Nope. Yeah, I have two over here, which is reasonable. Uh, so what's our next big thing, culturally speaking? Flight and radio is really what it is. Um, well, it's probably printing. So we'll go for machinery. And defensive tactics into feudalism. Okay. It's going okay. Did I make fun of that? Why, well, I love Pedro. What did you make fun of? What did you do? Let's get a commercial hub up for the trade route. Let's save that envoy. Unit needs orders. Heal next turn. Are right, your hopes cut in half as mine due to Scotland having their own sieve? Celtic sieve with Irish on its own is unlikely. Uh, I think Ireland is still a possibility. But it turns. I, I mean, I'm not really super disappointed. It really doesn't bother me. I'm pretty happy with the zivs that we got. Okay. Let's get our amphitheater up. And... Monument up. See if we can chase the scout down. Are all saves for the expansion revealed? Uh, we have a pretty good idea of what they're all going to be, but there is one that is not quote-unquote revealed, which everyone thinks is the Zulus. Let's grab a watermill. Uh, 
And we're not ready for that yet here. Let's grab the granary so you grow quicker. Let's see if it looks the most underpowered in the expansion. Um, that's a good question. Civ 6, Rise and Fall, new civs. Okay. Alright, what were the new civs? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Korea, the Netherlands, Mongolia, the Cree. What were all the sieves? I know one of them was really, really bad. Poundmaker, Dutch, Georgian, Georgia. Georgia seemed super weak to me. Maybe. Was not impressed by Georgia. Um, Mapuche didn't seem super strong to me either. If, if I'm remembering correctly. All the other series established game twenty four. Series test game coming in Golden Age. Uh, oh no no, Mapuche are really good. Never mind. Uh, was it the Scottish? It was mainly the Georgians. The Georgians kind of felt weak. Yeah. Please try Battle Brothers, Potato. I will. I will try Battle Brothers. Um. I will happily try that thing. If, yeah, by the way, like, unlike maybe some other people, game suggestions are totally open. If you want to suggest a game to me, go right ahead. Uh, the next Civ will either be the Inuits or West African Civ. Yeah, almost certainly. I know some people who, like, do, like, videos and YouTube stuff, like, get super tired of getting game suggestions. Um, but it's, like, really does not bother me at all. Acropolis placed. Mapuche seem meh at first glance, but they're a pretty strong upon investigation. Oh, okay. Invincibility lies my... <laughs> so... My biggest problem with almost all of the civs in Civ 6 is that if you're playing on Deity, like, 80% of the abilities are irrelevant to the game. Like... When am I ever going to be a suzerain of a city-state? When am I ever going to use hoplites in the early game? If I'm going for some sort of cultural game, right? In a deity game. Specifically for deity. Hoplites can be useful for defense and stuff like that, but it's like... For deity, the literal, literally the only bonus that I have that impacts the game is Plato's Republic. And it's a really good bonus, don't get me wrong. But it's the only bonus that matters at all. And, uh, you know, I would, I would love if there was, like, a really thriving multiplayer scene where I could sit down and do, like, seven-hour games with really stable, really stable players and, uh, and see if, you know, and actually get to see some of the abilities in action the way that they're designed. But they just seem so, I don't know, some of the abilities just seem kind of pointless, in my opinion, which upsets me slightly. Amphitheater? Sure, get the amphitheater. Ah, oh, I should really get the granary. Mm, the sooner I get the amphitheater, the better. But difficulty in Civ is like the top five biggest problems in Civ. No, the difficulty isn't the big problem in the game. Um... A lot of my problems with the game are design oriented. Okay, I want to get that caught uh, silk online. Go to the next turn. A lot of BLs feel more multiplayer oriented. The big problems, yeah, I hate the IA bonuses. Crap to compensate. Eh, it's fine. See, I'm kind of torn. My my problem is that people like to watch Deity, but Deity isn't my favorite difficulty to play on because it's so. Um, The, the content is predetermined. Uh, so DD is very much about just like this sort of rote optimization 
Um, that's not really how I like to play. I'm a very sloppy and sort of play by ear kind of player where I just do what feels good in the moment and, you know, try to just like deal with the consequences down the road. Um, I'm not really much of a methodical kind of person. A lot of abilities. Okay. Which is why I like faster games. Which is kind of odd that I picked Civ. I don't know why I chose Civ to play, but here it is and here I am playing it. Okay, let's get down an entertainment district. We want to uh, see if we can go for the Colosseum here, even though the city has pretty terrible production. It's your food surplus. Three. Do I have a builder charge knocking around somewhere? Yeah, once I purchase this, I'll have a builder charge. I'll send you up over here to improve this. I don't know. I've been meaning to sit down, like, for an entire year now. I've been meaning to sit down and really dig into my problems with Civ 6. I think it's fundamentally got a lot of really cool ideas and has the potential. Again, I've said this a million times. It has the potential to be the best Civ game ever made. Um, but I think there's, like, some really kind of odd fundamental things that they've done that just make the whole experience weird for me. It's like, the better des the design of the game is, the less I want to play it for Civ. I, I don't know. Maybe, th I don't know if that's right. I can't, I can't really put my finger on how I how to describe the problem I have with it. But there's like, just certain things like, districts getting more expensive as time goes on. And like that being the only metric that decides how expensive a district is. I mean, obviously there are other metrics. Like, if you have more of a particular type of district than another type... Uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, grab me a trader. They should make an Ethiopian sieve? Hell yeah! They should make an every sieve. Every sieve should be represented in the game, in my opinion. Alright. Go ahead and get me a builder. Okay, so how many of these great people have gone now? Another writer. An artist has gone. The Great Library will be finally useful in Rise and Fall because of error points, hopefully. Okay, next turn. Acropolis is about to be done. North Korean Civ? Unlikely. Uh, politically sensitive civilizations are unlikely to be included in the game. We already have a Korea. Will be cool if the resource would influence things like district and building, kind of like how Marble helped Warner Construction in Civ 5. I don't know. That could be interesting. Like, I, like, I don't know about you guys, but here's, here's my number one complaint with Civ 6. Look at this tech tree. It just looks really empty. Like, this, this technology unlocks one thing. 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 You know? And they just feel kind of... I don't know. It just feels really sparse. That's my biggest complaint. Um, buildings feel really expensive. The tech tree feels really sparse. And... The game rewards settling early too much. Let's get the amphitheater. I may as well go up to thingy here. That'll get me Suzerainty, which will give me a culture bonus and a science bonus if I go in here and tap. Potatoes. Hey, who is that? Daniel Waymeyer just subscribed. Thank you very much, Daniel. Appreciate it. Danielle. Yes, needs more tech and more things per tech. And things just need to be, like, I don't know. For me, the most rewarding part of the game is building things and finishing them and, and getting yields. And in this game, it just feels like you build, like, six things. Six Six things in a city, and that's it. You just never really ever get anything done in your cities. 
that's just kind of how I feel about the game, and, and that doesn't feel very good to me. Great writer points. Mm. Maybe. I think I prefer that to the gold. All right, we're gonna head for monarchy. We want to get our, we want to start building our walls, which means after machinery, we want to go uh, into siege tactics. There's information per tree, but both kind of the same as in Civ Five. I don't know, man. Like, let's take a look at the Civ Five tech tree. Why can't I find a view image? I don't know, man. Like, you look at this. It it looks like there's just a lot more happening at each technology. Now, part of that is because the tech tree is technically split into two, right? And some of the wonders and buildings that should be in the tech tree kind of appear in here. You know, like here's neighborhoods and stuff like that. But, yeah, I don't know. It's part of the problem. Yeah, more text. Never really played it on Epic, but nostalgia. You move through errors very quickly. Maybe Civ Seven will be more city building oriented. I feel like the city building aspect of the game is is my favorite part. But everyone just likes playing the war game, and war games like super do not interest me. Um, well, no, that's maybe not accurate. War games interest me, but these sort of micromanagey, excessive combat sort of. Oh, I want to fight. I need to position my units. That's eh, not really like I don't. It's not really my type of thing anymore. I like the one that fix, fixes the district cost to a 100. Makes the game more fun, in my opinion. Yeah. I would be okay with that. All right, Sparta. You've got issues. And I've got tissues. What can I do for you, buddy? Let's go to the next turn. Also, science is way too important to save five, though. I can see why they made the tech tree less powerful. Yeah. Uh... I think their solution for the, for the for the science thing is way better in the expansion, though. So if you don't know, in the expansion, what they're going to do is uh, this, like the idea of the game era. So let's say the game is in the classical era. <clears throat> if you try to research a medieval era technology, it'll cost you 20% more. If you try to research a renaissance era technology, it costs you 40% more and 60% and, and so on and so forth. So it's much harder to get ahead in technology. And I think I like that better. I like the idea of there being an era of the game. I don't know. I also feel like... Uh, there's a few different ways you could do it, but they all have problems. Alright, water mill. Can I finally scout it over here? Good god! And this warrior is going to attack my scout, by the way. Not any of these. Not going to attack any of these like low units or anything. It's going to attack my scout. Not spending much time on research. How will your people keep up? I will be just fine. Thank you very much. I, th I feel like in Civ, Civ 6, production is way more important than science. Um, Ritria wants to build a wonder for me, so that's why I'm going to give them that. Yeah, I want the granary. Need to grow. I also need the amphitheater. Oh, I can't quite place the lumber mills yet. Remember that we're still in vanilla and Civ 5 vanilla was also terrible. I... People, people say that. And... To an extent, I agree. But I also disagree. Especially when DDA I can produce units in one turn. Hmm... I don't know about everyone else, but I like the way they slimmed down Civ 6 complex complexity is best left to games like EU4. It's not necessarily... I'm not complaining about complexity. I'm complaining that... So, for example... In... Civ 5... There was the library, there was the university, there was the research lab, and like, let me... Right? There was like... 
And those f just felt like they did more. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Because, like, we still have basically the same thing, right? I guess, like, the buildings just... F f Here's my problem. I, I don't feel like buildings have an impact as well. I feel like... I don't know how exactly to describe this, but I feel like buildings and districts are just incredibly weak. Hmm. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of a thing I've been trying to explain for a long time. It's why I haven't made that video. And there's also a really big problem of the game front-loading yields. So, like, plus two science in... You know, Ancient Era is obviously way better than Plus Two Science in Information Era. But, like, to an absolutely astronomical degree. Yeah, towards the later era, when you have the research lab and the series of stuff, they feel empty. I get you 100% of how I think they address some of that in the expansion. Like, even... Even research lab... Here's my problem. Tier 3 buildings... Are irrelevant. Here's my... That's my problem with the game. Tier 3 buildings are irrelevant. Um, the Broadcast Center... Irrelevant. Research lab. Irrelevant. Seaport. Irrelevant. Power plant. Maybe one or two. Almost irrelevant. Airport. Barely relevant unless you're playing on a huge map. Stock exchange. Irrelevant. Military academy. Basically irrelevant. Even though it has faster corps and army training. When you build, by the time you have this unlocked, it's going to take you so long to build... Uh, cores and armies that you're you know you'll have won the game by the time you build like a couple of them that's my problem tier three that's one of that's, that's one of my problems tier three buildings feel irrelevant to the game okay i want an aqueduct now also want a builder in here but that's kind of expensive not an aqueduct sorry what was that uh, a lighthouse build a mine here lock that in okay Lumber mill. Knowledge of mass production. Yeah, the production is kind of broken. Mm -hmm. It's like, those late game buildings are so expensive and give you so little. You know? And even units. Un like, late game units are so expensive. And by the time you get them out, you've researched the unit that is better than it. Yeah, 23 turns to purchase an army in the industrial era with Hanses. What the fuck? Exactly. Um, I feel like Civ really needs to get the concept of production as a global resource to start happening. Every other resource is global. Food is global. Or, or, or sorry, science is global. Culture is global. Gold is global. I feel like if production and food were global and, like, things you could move around the map... Like, let's say, for every farm around a city, you could move one food from that city to another city, right? And let's say, in... If you could move production from one city to another, you could have... Um, have centralized production facilities and all this sort of stuff. And you could do interesting things with that sort of thing. But I think because production is tied too closely, like imagine if I was sending, like realistically, I should be able to somehow send production to Olympia to help build this. And so that gold kind of represents that, but it doesn't really. I don't know. The tier three buildings will become more relevant to the expansion for error score. It's, but they're not relevant because by the time you build them, the game is over. So it's like, error score doesn't matter really, does it? Watermill. Watermill. Build me a trader. See, you got an amphitheater. Go ahead and get me a granary. Lumber mill. Make sure to lock this in. Can you not do that with trade caravans? You can, right? But the problem is that the rules that dictate how much production is sent is like this based on the number of districts and stuff like that that you have in the city that it's being sent to and from and it's all gold and production should be going together like the Hanses in a way. No, I think it's actually okay to have the resources be separated. What 
what I want to do, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to say, hey, look, this city right here has like 22 production. I want to be able to send like just two production over here to Olympia. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I, I don't want like crazy amounts of production being sent over. I just want a little bit of production to make its way over here. Navy? What about Navy? It's a beautiful color. All right, here's Argos. Let's grab the amphitheater. I'm going to need some science districts too. I should be paying attention to some of these things. Amazingly. I should be now generating the most points here. Yes. And almost yes. Navy? You keep saying Navy and I'm confused. Also, my, st my internet has become unstable too, which is very annoying. Okay, somebody built the uh, thingamadoodad. Go ahead and get the amphitheater. We'll go to the next turn. Look at the golden era of the European colonial powers like the Dutch and England. Because the Morty got their production pretty historically speaking, it also makes more sense. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know if I agree with that. I'd have to think about that one. It's an interesting idea. Not sure I agree with it. Let's grab a monument to further our culture. Did the AI kill all the city-states or maybe they're hiding? No, they killed them all. Kabul, Palenque, Yerevan, uh, Auckland. I think those were the ones that were killed. So yeah, no, they were all killed. Don't worry about it. They were definitely murdered. In their sleep. Let's trade with Athens. Here, Here's another one of my problems with Civ 6. I feel like the game is trying to entice me into... Um, I feel like the game is trying to entice me into doing fun optimization things. Like building a really big capital with a lot of districts. But it's also like... Encouraging me to not do that because I don't have to do it to win and there's no point in me doing it because it's actually more optimal to play other ways Like the game says that like oh, you know You get plus one food and plus one production for every district in the city or every district of X type in the city, right? So naturally you would think oh, I want to have one city That's really big that I send all my trade routes to but it's like if you do that it's like a huge investment of resources and time and energy and It ends up not really helping you that much even I, I, that's my big problem with Civ 6 is that there's all these really cool things they could be doing with that sort of stuff, but it ends up just feeling anemic and never going anywhere and being pointless. I don't know. I don't know. The problem with the difficulty is a lot of things are balanced for prints. A little bit. Give me all of the monies. <laughs> you might have think so, but the difficulty design is really harming the game. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. It's all papers and forms. The entire I'd have to think about that one a little bit. Fortress. I don't know why I have satellite production slotted in. This is just like, this is like another area of the game that needs work too. This whole thing. Um... It feels really low impact. No, it doesn't feel really low impact. It feels like some cards are like absolutely better than like any other card in here. And then like other cards, it's like, eh, why would I bother? But then it's out here, go, go, gold luck and... Good night. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, buddy. Athens. Like, what could I have slotted in instead of this settler card that would have done anything for me? 
I could have got plus one faith in gold. I could have got maybe like plus four, plus six gold. Um, I could have got a little bit of science out of my campuses. I could have got... Yeah, that's about it. That's about all I could have got. So it feels like some choices are like, wow, this choice is really, really powerful and really, really strong. And then other choices, it's like, this choice sucks. Um, I really should be settling more for National Park potential. There's a really good National Park here. If I settle there. And I just took out my Settler card. So, well, you know, woe is me. Thank God for the mod community. Ugh, even the mod community has been a bit lackluster in my opinion. Don't get me wrong. The mods that are coming out are okay, but it's like... Eh, I don't know. Petra is gone already. Navy, Navy, Navy. Okay, here's my question. What does a Navy do for me? What does a Navy achieve for me? Well, that's a serious question. Like, what does a Navy do? Like, that's the question you have to ask yourself. Like, what would a Navy do? What are, like, uh, the first question you have to ask me, what's, what's my goal in the game? My goal in the game is to screw around, have fun, maybe win through tourism. Okay, so, we've established that. So, what does the Navy do to help me achieve that goal? I mean, where am I going to build a Navy? In this city that has seven production? What kind of Navy am I going to build? Galleys? Most other players are in, like, ironclads. Like, a navy right now isn't going to change the outcome of the game. Like, this city has 38 combat strength. I would need... Um, I would need frigates to do anything to them. Yeah, exactly. I only have one coastal city, so like what like navy doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't make any sense. Um there's literally no reason for me to build a navy. In the navy. All right, your embassy is a welcome addition to my capital. Man suffers only it's theology. I really think you will enjoy Battle Brothers, as I said a lot last time, I pro promise. Uh, I think you only said it once before this. Now, keep in mind, I don't really like games where you have to, like... It's Battle Brothers sounds like this really kind of tactical game, and that's not really my bag, baby. Out of this room, there was. I'm just playing till I can. I'm just playing. I'll come back to tell you to get an Air Force. Okay. Sure thing, buddy. I'm really looking forward to the expansion, though. I really want to play it. God, I want to play the expansion. God, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get access to it, but it's okay. The Air Force in Civ 6 is so useless most of the time you win before you can even build a plane. Ah, I disagree. Um, so there is a particular build order that I've done in my Norway game. Where you go um, Navy B-line into um, Bomber B-line. So you basically ignore the bottom half of the tree. Um, it pretty much only viable on water maps on like island plates and stuff like that and it, you know that, that was a pretty easy domination game where i went um i went caravels frigates into ironclads and um into ironclads and frigates and then i went um biplanes fighters and bombers and they you know we steamrolled them it's not feel bad if you guys die it happens a lot 
See, I used to like games like that. Like, XCOM was one of my favorite games of all time. But, I don't know if I have the patience for that kind of game. Today was my dog's birthday. Happy birthday, doggo. Happy birthday to you. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, Rise and Fall will be lit. It will be lit AF, my dude. Watermills. Get that food and production on the go. Watermills feel really crap, too. Can we just, like, appreciate that? Nope, not selling you my critical resource thing. Alright, two turns until we get Divine Right, and then we can kind of flip around some stuff here. Fuse deal. I need to get more campuses out. That's probably going to be the next <laughs> district that I build in my cities. Uh, let's see here. I have an Acropolis. I have Amphitheater. Commercial Hub. Pop that down just to lock in the price. Going to grab the Guru Library for the uh, boost. Ugh. These tiles suck. Work that. Get me extra culture. I found a huge exploit for Korea's campus. Oh, yeah? What's the exploit? Uh, City is coming to kill me, and so is Khmer. Listen. All right, there's Divine, right? Let's go ahead and switch. Good timing. This is usually when the AI, AI comes to kill you. It's right about the time. Where's the defensive thing? Here we go. You slot in your defensive build uh, things. And plus one production in all cities. That might not seem like much, but it's like a decent amount of production on, across my empire. Okay, so. Next, we want to grab diplomatic service because spying is useful. Work it, girl. Minus one science for each district, but there's a policy card where you get 100% more science for each district. Interesting. I'm not sure what that... I don't know that... I don't know what's in the... I haven't been, I haven't been spoiling the expansion myself. So we're going to be spamming out our walls now. What are you working? You're not growing, really. I'll probably put forests here later. Um, for now... Send this builder over to Eritrea. Army, army, army. No. Um, so, the way I like to play... Is I like to play with as minimum army as possible, just to prove how bad the DDAI is. The DDAI could probably kill me with like three knights. <laughs> but it doesn't. Because I am extremely greedy. It's the way I like to play. I like to play greedy. Um, like, for me, it's about seeing how greedy can I be and, and not get punished for it. All right, you're not actually working that stone, so I'll take it. A scout in the sea is as good as a galley. I mean, what what is the point of scouting? What does scouting achieve me? Maybe I'll find some more city-states. Doesn't really matter, though. Doesn't help me win the game too much. Go away, I'm not selling you my thing. Don't dude me, that's rude. Ancient walls. So we're, uh, we're building all our walls because we want to... Um, when we unlock conservation, we will get tourism from walls. Every man should make, every man should make his son There's guilds. Don't really care about guilds. Medieval walls. Medieval walls. Medieval walls. Next turn. Uh, 
What time is it even? It's 11 p.m. And we're already about halfway through this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get that campus up. Kill the Japanese? Why? <laughs> what does it do for me? It doesn't do anything for me. See, again, this is about personal playstyle. I like to play passive games. I don't like to go to war. I do a war game every now and again just because you guys are always screaming for war games. But it's it's not it's not a way it's not the war is just so trivial that it's like you know what's the point? What's the point of playing a war game? I have been here forever, I know, and in the end, you will build an army. I will not be building an army, my friend. Um, like, killing the uh, killing the, the AI with an army is basically cheating, in my opinion. It's, it's not easy. Um, what would be a good one? Commercial hub would be good. Campus would be better. Get that campus in five turns. I do war when I need to catch up, which I think is the correct cause to war regardless of victory type. Now you see, I just I just like to try to win using passive tools. I mean I know war is like a big part of the game, but for me it's just it's more entertaining to try to beat the game without going to war because wars are so easy, right? It's like I know what your playstyle is, but I want to prove to Isaiah how useless and broken war army in Civ Six is. I mean, like I literally have zero troops, have engaged in zero diplomacy, and the AI still hasn't killed me. Like, does nobody see a problem here? And I'm probably going to win this game, right? Does that not, that should bother someone. Um, uh, because it bothers me. Theater Square Festival. Ancient Walls. The farm. Farms are useless, but again, so is the AI, so I don't I don't really even have to really play optimally in order to win. You're pretty cool, just next time pick a different sieve. Wish I could say the same about you, Isaiah. Got him. Roasted. Hashtag burn clinic, etc. etc. And this is another big big problem. I wish I could just say I'm not willing to sell my great works. As a toggle. I have a bunch of gold, by the way, that I should spend. Um, there. That'll get that city up and running a little bit quicker. Next turn. Japan is pretty weak right now. Yep. Pretty weak, all right. I'm not gonna do anything about it, though. Goodbye. I don't know. Is this for me? I'm more interested by city builders and stuff like that than I am by war games. Um. You know, even when I play Hearts of Iron, I don't play it. I don't like micromanage my army or anything. I micromanage the the, the logistical stuff and, and the war plans and just the general strategy. I like. I'm I'm very much the kind of player who likes to zoom out. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not zoomed in. You know, moving. Oh, I'm gonna move this unit here, and I'm gonna you know get five attacks on this tile and kill this unit, and then next turn I'll retreat with this unit and I'll heal and I'll use a promotion. It's like, it's, yeah, okay, that's all really cool and good, and that sounds like a really wonderful way to spend your time, but it's just not what I'm into. Petra. Yes, please keep saying Petra. It's my favorite word. I would like the entire chat to say Petra right now. Right now. No, no. Three, two, one, Petra. If you said it out loud at home, you might be crazy. Um, Granary. What the hell do I... So I got my library. Oh, commercial hub would make sense. Ancient walls. Yeah. I'm doing the whole wall thing right now. Medieval walls completed. I've got one more turn. Here, look, I'll build a galley, right, in this lake. <laughs> God. I'm going to start trolling my viewers. It's not good. 
Get a harbor. Since they are communists, the Greeks are the founders of democracy. There is some sexy resources in their empire. All right. I think I put you in a time, time out, my friend. Alrighty. Alright, so now I want to build spies. Ah, okay, so we finished siege tactics. I want to get printing to increase the tourism I get from those other things. The great works of writing. Then it's pretty much just like left click on radio. That's tourism for you boys and girls. I don't want to get the steel. I mean, the Eiffel Tower would be really nice. Well, I guess there is slightly there is a slightly optimal way to do this. Printing education. Hashtag no mercy. I was merciful. I only timed him out, I didn't ban him. I don't I don't really believe in banning people. I mean I'll do it if it's necessary. Right, let's get the humanism. Renaissance walls. Medieval walls. I like Railway Empire. Not a city builder, but still good. Yeah, but I'm not paying 50 euro for a Calypso game. I'll wait until it's on sale before I play it. And then I'll probably will play it off, off screen. Railway games are my me time. I don't see enjoy all the new wonders in the expansion, even the snow one. They all look really cool. I'm really excited to try them out. I want to know. I want to know what they're like go away see this this just just leave me alone <laughs> goddamn ai oh my god again would love an option to say i'm not willing to sell any of my great works also russia is crushing me and great people generation here which is annoying There's Renaissance walls. We go to the next turn. Is it possible to make me moderator? Us Mexicans are not merciful. Um, I'm only going to. I'm only going to. I'm only going to pick moderators when the moderation of chat is actually like something that I can't do anymore. Like I can do it right now, but like let's say. You know, there was too many people talking. I will need moderators. And right now I don't need moderators. So I feel like I would just be appointing people who are, you know, I don't know, regulars. Which I guess is fine. If you like, if you guys really want me to appoint moderators, I will. But, you know, I'm kind of like a, is it a necessary decision for me to make right now? I don't know. I mean, I would be like, if, if I was, if I needed a moderator, you would be like one of the top people I would pick. But I just don't need moderators right now. Let's see. All right, a lot of a lot of end, a lot of next turning happening here. Open borders. I really should get open borders. Although I'm not even generating a really a, a, a reasonable amount of um, thingies. Although to be fair, if I was playing more optimally, I should be making friends with people um, in order to maintain open borders relationships with them. I guess I'll do it. Come on, open borders. Yeah, there we go. Look at those beautiful walls. They are beautiful walls. That sentence has a different connotation in my head. 
I spent too much time watching the Hodge twins. <laughs> oh man. What a funny pair of dudes. Let's get open borders with everyone. Make a demand. Make a deal. Pedro. Alright, we have open borders with everyone. So that should improve our relationship. Real safe to use mountains as walls? That's right. The Georgian way. Hell yeah, send us our tourists. Send us your tourists. Whatever. You know what I mean. Oh, I'm stretching, sorry. Let's go to Athens, please. I'm getting pretty tired here, man. It's time for bed. It's time for bed here soon. We'll go for like another 15, 20 minutes. Knowledge of a cartography is advanced. Yay! Renaissance walls. Next turn. Also, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but aside from tourism, walls kind of seem pointless. The pen might not be mightier than the sword. The four characteristics of you. Okay, there's humanism. Let's grab conservation. I need to build a spy, probably my capital after Renaissance walls are done. Walls are pointless for day and multiplayer, you're glad you have them. I don't know, man. I feel like a battering ram or a siege tower or a catapult deals with walls real quick. I'm pretty sure you can legit kill like a fairly strong early game city with like three horsemen and a battering ram in three attacks. The Chinese use sticky rice for the wall. See Petra. Hey, look, I unlocked Petra. I can a build Petra. Okay, we've got a lot of unimproved tiles, so it's probably time for builders. It's also time for these things, but builders must come first because we need to improve the tiles so we get those other things faster. Camp is finished here in Pharsalos. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to get a decent decent stack of science going here. It's not what I wanted to click on. Yep. We're doing just fine. Nope, I'm not selling you my stuff. Walls should give amenities. Um, I think not having walls should give negative amenities. If you are below half the power if, of military power. If you have a small army, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> God. For saying your first going around off place, you're pretty good at that. I get caught up in building things. I forget to head for a win condition. Yeah. Well, I mean, th at this point, you know, my build order is pretty... Like, I've figured out... Here's my... Here's the, like, I've figured out the build order. The the thing that kind of bothers me is that the details don't matter. Um, like, it doesn't really matter exactly how I go about 
like the details of my win condition matter. The only thing that matters is that I hit the beats. I hit the beats. I get I get um, divine right around the same time I unlock siege tactics. As long as I hit those two beats together, I'm fine. And the only real thing that can disrupt this is an AI like Russia screwing up my great works, which is fine. Um, yep, Renaissance walls. It's the next thing. Taking 28 turns in here. Walls give a sense of security, so amenities make sense. Yeah, but that's why I said it should be negative amenities for not having walls, because it's a sense of insecurity. It's sort of a negative way of framing that. Which maybe serves the design of the game better. Do, 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 do. Gonna grab art museum. Do I need an art museum? I will certainly need at least one art museum. Oh, you're not in range of Athens. Intradasting. Yeah, trade with Argos. Buy the silver tile. I guess you're right, I should. I think what I might need to do is I might need to just like... Um, I think the part, part of my problem is that I, I don't feel challenged on Deity. And maybe I, need to, maybe I need to like sit down and make it more challenging for myself. Like see, how fast can I win a culture victory? Or how fast can I win a science victory? How, like, and start asking these sorts of questions. Maybe that's something I need to look into. Because I still enjoy playing the game, but it's it's sort of I don't want to say dispassionate. Also, I just want to point out that Yaya Varman is top science with like two campuses. Um how do I even describe that? It's like it's a pretty good industrial zone right here. Build it first. You should get drunk while playing deity, problem solved. Uh, that wouldn't make it more challenging. That would just make me tired. I get sleepy when I'm drunk. It's like pretty much the only side effect. That and I have more fun. <laughs> uh, archaeological museum. Archaeological museum. Next turn. You don't think Rise of Fall will help with the difficulty? Nope. It just adds more mechanics that the AI can't cope with. The purpose of education. Having seen a non-market economy. Uh, plus four gold from trade routes. I actually like that more than meritocracy. Because I have really poor gold income right now. Okay, there's education. Next we want industrialization. Then we want flight and radio. Well, I don't. Well, I don't want to say that it won't help with the. I don't want to say that I don't think it will help with the difficulty. What I will say is I haven't seen anything that has given me. I haven't seen any evidence that the expansion will significantly impact the. Oh, nice! They killed my one city state that I was friends with. Great, great. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen any significant, you know, data or or feature that says. The game is going to be better, or, you know, the AI is going to be harder, or the d difficulty is going to be better tuned, or whatever. Honestly, I'm tempted to just do, like, a Prince game. <laughs> um, once in a while. I never noticed until, until how many Greek wonders there are. Well, the Greeks are, like, the foundational... The Greek society is like the foundational society of the Western world, so of course, like they're, you know, going to be featured highly in a game that's built on a Western culture, right? Does that make sense? Built by a Western culture, uh, it might be hard to keep a big empire loyal. I mean, that's not what's making the game difficult. Maybe we'll see.
I think they are addressing the problems in the game's design, like things like, um, you know, big empires are too easy to manage, um, beelining technologies is too easy, and the um, beelining text is too easy. There's a few. Spam the cavalry when it comes, I mean spam it. Yeah, sure. Will do. I promise you, I promise you 100% that I will spam cavalry when I get cavalry. I'm definitely not being facetious. I'm definitely not misleading you. I'm 100% being truthful. Hey, Vito Scaletta just subscribed. Thank you very much, Vito. Appreciate it. Alright, what do I want to get? A builder? No, don't want a builder over here. Realistically, um, I will place a harbor for cash, but I will build an art museum. I'm definitely not. I'm definitely super not lying to you. Oh, look at that. Japan has a battleship on turn 161. The battleship is available here. We'd just like to point out. Uh, head over there. Okay, we're locked in. We're at negative one amenities. Gain sources. Get better at being a spy. Are you going to play for much longer, by the way? I just recently arrived. Wondering if I should get something to drink and eat while watching. Um, I might do a longer stream tomorrow, but right now I'm probably going to go to bed in like 10 minutes. Um, I started kind of badly. I should have started earlier. I don't know why I waited so long. Cheese production. Oh god, I have to go to the gym in the morning. Oh no. <laughs> uh -huh, I just want to sleep. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up an archaeological museum. Granary. Japan is looking to kill me. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I know, I know, I know. However, needs must. It's almost midnight. Gotta sleep, my dude. Tower Peter is getting angry with the Cossack train start rolling. If yeah, that can happen. To dream more. Plus two gold from fishing boats. All right. Well, Russia has been pretty annoying um, on the Grey People front. Because he built a couple of lavras, which gives him a bit of an advantage when generating them. Temple of Artemis, Oracle, Mausoleum of Harlequin and Acid, Hagia Sophia, Great Loud House, Library, Library, and Colossus are all Greek. Well, I think some of those were built in... Well, uh, yeah, I suppose they were—they were kind of Greek civilizational, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of other wonders in the world that are absolutely worthy of being included, and I hope will be included. Uh, let's have a look at the old appeal. Oh, so unfortunately, I actually killed two national parks with these campuses. This is another problem with the tourism victory type. Just so you know, Hagi was made by the Turks. I think it was like rebuilt. I think it's like built on top of an original temple or something. Let me look it up. 
Yep, it was a Greek Orthodox Christian. Uh, Hagia Sophia was a Greek uh, Orthodox Patriarchal Basilica Church, uh, later an Imperial Mosque. So it was actually a uh, Greek Orthodox Church, and then they made it a mosque. Which is, you know, sort of like, that's what you do. Um, you, uh, you know, when you're trying to conquer an area, you come in, you... You tell them, hey, your religion isn't cool anymore, but hey, our religion is really, really similar. And we're just going to put it in this exact same building that you're already using. So, you know, you don't have to change a thing. It's just, you know, you're following our religion. And everyone's like, okay. Or they get killed. Welcome to Conquest. Conquest 101 with Potato McWhiskey. Please don't tell people that I say these things. This is like too far deep into the video. Most people won't see that. I have zero use for envoys. The spread of the... Natural history is coming soon. My archaeological museums are getting done-ish. Like, there's a big problem in here, in that I have no production tiles. I'm gonna buy this because I can maybe get some production out of it. The Turks crapped all over the Balkans, mostly the Greeks. I feel like you could say pretty much everyone has crapped all over everyone. Like name name a um name a culture or a civilization and then like you can name like all of their neighbors. And that culture and civilization has almost certainly done something really, really bad to their neighbor. So I don't think that's like a particularly I mean, sure, it's worth noting, but I don't think it's a particularly unique thing about, like, what happened in the Balkans and the Turk in Turkey. And I think it's also really dangerous that we think... I think it's also dangerous to think in terms of ethnic groups when we're talking about conflict. Um, you know, like the Turks versus the Greeks. Because the problem is, once it's framed that way, it's very hard to get out of that. When really... You, you know what I mean? Like once you're once you're in an ethnic conflict, it's very hard to de-escalate one. So I don't like to think, I don't think it's healthy for people to make those kind of like statements. Build a ship to find city states, not Canada. Here, look. Okay, people have people have been asking forever. I can't even afford it. We'll wait a couple turns. Still a tech boost. We'll go to the next turn. Not Canada. What about not Canada? Bhutan never fucked over anyone. Canada literally burnt down the White House. Canada is just like... Canada is just like... Severed England, man. Or severed Britain. Or Bangladesh. Uh, let's have a look. Bangladesh. Bangladesh is officially the People's Republic of... History. Early in medieval period. It was a part of the Mughal Empire. There you go. The Mughal Empire screwed people over. Bangladesh screwed people over by being a part of the Mughal Empire. Easy. Oh, Canada. I'm not going to go into in-depth analysis on, like, what Bangladesh did on the world stage to other, you know, nearby peoples or countries or whatever. Hey, look, we found Cleo. Hey, Cleo. How are you? You doing well? I'm doing good. How are you? Good stuff. So what's Australia? Australia is also severed England. Alrighty, let's get up an industrial zoom. Bhutan never did anything wrong. You are fake news. I'm sure. I just won my first game on King Difficulty and my first game in France. Watching you play makes me courageous to try higher difficulties. I was really overwhelmed early on too, both England and Greece. I want to point out, literally nobody has declared war on me. I feel like I have a magical power that just prevents like AIs from declaring war on me. 
Okay, it's a quadrivium. We will go find you city states, I promise. It's like my only production tile if I kill that. God damn it. What, you played as France? Yeah, exactly. First mistake. France is still the worst civilization in the game, in my opinion. Literally the only redeeming thing for them is their spies. Spies come too late into the game and have too low impact to really be relevant. So it's like, who cares? Workshop, workshop, work, 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 workshop. Really neat little trick you can do is if you don't feel like moving your rider around, just move the great works and make some new ones. Pierre was right when he said. Auto explore. I'm not manually exploring with a quadrarium. God damn it. I don't know, I think the here's here I think one of the problems is that the game is so easy that or not that the game is so easy, it's that the game doesn't force me to play really hyper optimally. And so therefore I don't feel the need to, and so I play sloppily. Does that make sense? There should honestly be booth hand sieve. I haven't played all the saves, mostly just focus on a few that I like, but I want to try new, so gave them a try. I think I've played all the saves now. You wanna trade one for one there? Maybe. There should be, honestly, a Bhutan save, a 100% peaceful save. Bhutan war. <sighs> do, do, do. Right, we can build archaeologists now. And we will. Because we have great works to dig up. All the girls in the world. No, no, it's not there. The best I left France right after America. I still love them. Hmm. I can't afford to buy this tile, damn it. I should really be making more builders. But whatever. Yeah. Goodbye. God, just stop AI. Just stop offering me trades. Just please. Just please leave me alone. Just please, please stop. Please stop offering me trades. There needs to be a limit. Only two, like only two or three AIs can offer you a trade in one turn. Ah, uh, welcome to espionage. Here is the problem with espionage. It's RNG. And it's RNG, it's low impact, and it's high investment. Got my spy back. It's three gold per turn. Essentially 90 gold plus 15, 105 gold. Not so bad. I just spent like 12 turns on this guy to get nothing. I just spent 12 turns on this guy to lose 100 gold. It's the problem. There's like a training period on, on spies. Natural history of this if you broke, go to work. Very remarkable. What do you mean if I'm broke, go to work? I don't understand. Uh, you must know how to live the divine life. I like his little eyebrow twitch. Who's who's broke? Oh, you meant like this? Oh yeah, I'm broke. Now I'm broke. Acropolis next turn. Who is 361 gold? You guys are like crazy. 
Again, what to point out, I literally don't have an army and the AI is not attacking me. It's not the towering sails, but the uns Although, winning when Russia is in the game is always really hard, because he snatches up all the great works. I think the Eye of Armor looks so... You are beneath me, three gold is worth so much. Got that Lando. Hell yeah, man. Got that Lando. Got Lando Cal Calrissian. Um, Renaissance walls have been completed. Art Museum. Need to get an archaeologist after this workshop. Trade with Athens, go. Next turn. Yeah, I think... I think after, after I start getting familiar with Rise and Fall, I'm going to start getting into, like, super optimal play. And trying to see if maybe that's, like, a direction I can take my channel. Because right now, I just kind of play quickly and I play loosely. Trying to show people that it's actually really easy to win Deity. But I think it could be maybe interesting if, like, what if I were to go for, like, a turn 200 win? Like, I'm not going to win turn 200 now. But... I mean, I, I feel like I've achieved my goal, which was to show that it's possible to consistently win Deity with almost zero thought. Hey, look, I got Vilnius on my side. Okay, maybe we did get some value out of the goddamn exploring thing. Maybe we did, okay? Well, we got a lot of value out of it, actually. I was just being stubborn and boring. I should really do those things. Got that land, though. They should. Where's the cavalry? I don't know, man. That's a good question. Cavalry is unlocked over here at Military Science. Conveniently, I'm not researching it. But yeah, I think I think I might start forcing myself to play the way that I usually don't. Um, like, I'm going to force myself to play more aggressively, militarily. I'm going to force myself to try to play optimally. Northeast Settler in Desert. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This is like, this doesn't matter. None of this, none of this over here matters. Um... So there you go. These aren't going to impact my game at all. Get an artist. Teleport you over here and we'll go to the next turn. I mean, even if they settled like anywhere right here, it's fine. It doesn't, it really doesn't change the game. What about playing Deity and doing abundant resources? Might make the computer stronger if they have no amenity problems. What do you mean nothing else is working? Nope. Don't feel like trading you that. Thank you very much. Don't feel like trading you. I don't know. I just feel like far too much of my turn is spent just like pointlessly clicking things that I shouldn't have to click. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, university has been completed. Let's get that industrial zone up. Alright, I think it's time for me to go to bed now on this turn. If I had to start it earlier, I could probably finish this game in one sitting. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed. This has been pretty good. I'll draw you guys a quick picture. No, I won't. I don't have time for that. Alright, we'll call this... Uh, although, you can see how many goddamn save files I have. This is all, like... This all stretches back to, like, some of my very first games. Well, I did a reinstall, so probably not my first games, but... Since Nubia and Venice came out and stuff. Uh, live stream. Greece, Pericles. Greece is redundant. Pericles implies Greece. Turn. 185, but Greece does not imply Pericles. Sweet dreams, potato. Japan on my border? Yep. Japan is definitely on my border. 
Bob Ross has to sleep. Potato Ross has to sleep. Here, I will draw you guys a quick picture. It is tradition after all. I will try to draw my mascot freehand really quickly. <laughs> oh my god, it's awful. It's absolutely terrible. This is the most awful thing I've ever drawn in my life. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. I mean, what is it? This is I mean, this is the pinnacle of art and expression. Yeah, it's very uh, romantic, um, very reminiscent of romantic impressionist art and stuff like that, you know? Absolutely. I mean, look at the, uh, look at the resemblance. Goddamn uncanny. God damn it. Come back. It's goddamn uncanny. <laughs> uh, you. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Oh, I guess there is a shadow. Oh, that's definitely not what I meant to do. We can't not have the shadow. I suppose the eye needs to be the color too. Anyway, look. I love you all very much, Minion Potato. I gotta go to bed. See ya.